What has been one of the biggest obstacles you face in your fellowship so far, and how did you handle it? So, John Andrew, you ready to tackle that one? So, some of the biggest obstacles were some things like conflict resolution issues, I guess. How to work in an interdepartmental, multidisciplinary team. And while other people do understand the deadlines of clinical research and all the ins and outs, um, some people don't realize that on the opposite end, where the, what, whereas if it was regulatory affairs, they might think differently. Um, but for me, I think communication was really important. As Lindsay and all the other guys were saying, um, communication is really important. Um, so if I think for me, um, since my program is smaller, we have been doing things the same ways um, over the years. But coming from a different school and coming from Rutgers where I have exposure to, I guess, best practices of other fellowship programs, um, I've gone back and tried to implement some of those things that other programs do really well into our own program. Um, for instance, recruitment is really hard for our position because it's only one position and there's a lot of candidates that are applying for it. But trying How to many did you say? You uh, told me earlier. 140 <laughs> for <laughs> one position. So it's, it's been really hard to, to, like, to go through all of those pieces of information. And I think just reworking everything that we've been do um, doing and trying to look at it in a new light. So actually, with, uh, with the biggest obstacle, actually, is something relative to, um, I was the first one to go through or start my program, essentially, and there has been no precedent set. Um, I believe a lot of these programs also have someone that's been before them. Um, if not, you're probably in my shoes and feel the same way some, about some of these things is that, um, you know, I have my co-fellow, first year fellow here as well, who I, I, I can't just, I have the inclination to, okay, I just want to do it for you or so, when you initially started. Um, for example, like filling out uh, POs, invoices and stuff like that, right? And it's been a struggle for me personally to, to take a step back and say, okay, he needs to know how to do it so someone else comes in next year and knows how to do it as well. Um, and being able to have that little bit of self-control with myself so that he is getting the full benefit from his fellowship as well, right? So I didn't want to be more too controlling, but also want to be too lax with what goes into the program. Um, and also, you know, as I go into the, through the program as well, um, you know, once I said first year going through this, no one's really had an interaction with a fellow. So defining that fellowship role through each of these rotations has been a overall hard challenge to go through as well. Um, some, some rotations have not been the greatest. Some have been absolutely amazing, but it's how you voice your opinion on voice with your uh, voice with your preceptors. This is what I want to be doing, and if they can make that happen, they most likely will. So, 